Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be looking at the Autoclip 3-in-1 photo lens for the iPhone 5. And you can see here I've gone ahead and unboxed it. And the there's really not a whole lot to see on the box. It does have some pictures on the back that you can see where the fisheye macro and wide angle lens was used to, to take those photos. And in the box you get the auto clip itself you get three lenses actually you get two lens the uh, fisheye is on one end and the macro and wide angle is on the other you have to unscrew the macro lens to get to the wide angle or vice versa one I'll show you that just in a minute and it says on the back here that the fisheye has approximately a hundred eighty degree field of view and the uh, incredible focal distance of the uh, macro is 10 times what a normal eye can see so that's pretty awesome that you can take pictures of something as small as like something like even a hair or an insect would even be a great photo to take so let's go ahead and open the box up and let me show you what you get inside the box it just simply just pops open it's very easy to open flips open like that and once inside you got your you get a little instruction booklet here you can read that if you want to you get some auto clip cards um, it shows you how to position it on the iPhone which I'm going to be doing that and we can get right into that here is the actual auto clip itself and you get a little carrying case and here's your lens cover uh, this makes it nice if you want to clean the lens on your camera before putting it on there. It's a real soft protect. It, will, it won't scratch your camera lens at all. This is what the actual... Okay guys, we're back now with the auto clip on the iPhone 5. And I wanted to make a clarification here. This lens that I hold in my hand is the wide angle lens and it's written on the side of it there if you get confused like I just did simply let's look at what's written on the side of the lens and on the side of the big lens you can see here it's got fisheye and if you have the lens removed that's where you get the macro shots from so what I'm going to do now is you can see how this compares in size to the quarter that's laying here uh, it's not very much bigger at all actually they're about the same size so now I'm going to take a shot of the camera using the macro lens of this quarter. And I'm going to tap it there too. And you can see I could even zoom in more. And it's very hard to take a shot using this without it being on a tripod. Because it's supposed to be on a half inch from the actual all right that one wasn't too bad all right now let's go ahead and screw the actual wide angle lens on and the wide angle lens is supposed to give us I think it said 180 degrees field of view, or that may have been for the fisheye. The fisheye was 180. And it says the wide angle expands the native viewing angle by two times. Okay, so let's, let's look at how it looks through the lens. Alright, here is... Alright, the first shot I'm going to take here is just by, with, with the uh, wide angle lens. And we're going to compare it to one that to see how it looks just with a regular photo just without any lens just taking it through the iPhone 5 and you can see that there are quite a bit of difference in it as far as the range of view especially that's what I was trying to get to get you to see now we're going to look at the fisheye and this is probably my favorite out of all of them and you can see it sort of rounds the corners of the photo can see it in the uh, on the screen there of the iPhone but overall this is a very compact accessory if you want to get better pictures I can recommend it highly it works without any kind of glitches and it will make all your photos better 
as you can see here's the shots we took during the video on the screen now so if you're not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button and keep coming back